Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. Thank you for joining us here on Westerns on the Web for another classic Western film. Here on Westerns on the Web, we believe that Westerns are timeless, that these classic Westerns, that these older ones are timeless entertainment fit for the whole family to see, and they have a lot of good values and lessons to teach. And that's why we're sharing them. Westerns on the Web has literally thousands of Western films in our archives that we're planning on sharing, and some of them are extremely rare films. Kick your boots up, relax, get ready for another action-packed Western, and we'll see you after the show. Two hundred buffalo hide, Sprague. What are you paying? Two dollars a hide. So you can wait for the stage and take the market. I'll wait. I think the hides are going up. Go on in, tell I to give you a credit slip. How'd you make out? I'm going with Sprague's outfit. Just saw him. That's the same Sprague as owns this trading post, ain't it? Yeah. He's got all the top-notch hide hunters. Been around here for years. I may be going with a fellow by the name of Jet. He's got a pretty big outfit. Only offering wages, ain't he? Well, I don't know as he said exactly, you but... better see if Sprague won't take you first. You'll be sure of a square deal and some of the hide money. There's Sprague. When you get a chance, ask him. Hey, Smiley. You ready to sell your hides? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I'm waiting for the stage. I want to get St. Louis priced. All right. You'll have your cash before supper. See, by the way, is Tom Doan still driving her out for you? Yep. Well, I heard that you and Jude Pilchuck was taking him in partnership. Well, we are. This is going to be his last trip from Little Ben. Oh, he'll be on time today. Well, yep.
can't huddle on anymore on account of high thieves in India. I'm throwing in with Clark Sprague and Jim Pilchuck. Takes a big outfit nowadays. Looks like there's trouble down there. What happened? Chase down here by a hide piece. Oof. White men dressed up like Indians, war paint, feathers and all. Just a few minutes ago. But I guess the stage must have scared them off. Where'd they, they jump you? Back yonder by Twin Forks, I was picking up a pile of hides. You sure they weren't Indians? Can't fool me on Indians. Did you ever see Indians go on war paths with a wagon? Well, they had one all right, because I seen it. Pretty smart trick, twant it, huh? Hide thieves trying to put the blame on Indians. Huh. Well, come on. Let's see if we can straighten this thing up and then we go back and look around. Jude Pilchuck out of a ditch. They'll be in around supper time. Want to see him about anything urgent? Yeah. Oh. Will you see him? Will you tell him I want to talk to him? Wait a minute, Millie. This letter for your stepfather. A man asked me to hand it to him. Thanks. Get your end up there. Put yeah. that thing down. Well? Ain't you got sense enough to put the smaller things in first? Leave that to ride on the tailgate. I packed wagons long time before I ever met up with you. Then it's about time you learn how to do it right. And we ain't got all day. I thought I told you to put the ice corks on. It ain't time yet. Well, you better do as I tell you to do. Ah, do it yourself. I ain't taking orders from you or any other woman, Mrs. Jet. Oh, yes, you are. You're taking orders from me. I'm running this camp while my husband ain't here. Well, go ahead and run it. What's going on here? Jane! Hey, come here. Now, now what's the matter? Ah, oh, she's all the time. What are you interfering with the men for? Just when we're getting ready to move. He's a rotten horse shore. I fired him. No, you didn't. I'm running this outfit. Now you get on back to your own work there. Uh, she won't bother you anymore. Go on. All right. Ma, 
mother. Where's Jet? I'm not your mother. Call me Jane if the name Mrs. Jet makes you jealous. Jealous? Well, I don't know what you mean. You're no more related to Jet than I am. I've never claimed to be. Ha! Huh. I guess Jet's just as glad of that as you are. But you needn't worry about it as long as I'm alive. Why don't you take up with one of the boys? You could soon get one ready enough to fight your stepfather off when he gets funny. Yeah, better order up another load of grain. Oh, Millie. Uh. Oh, this came on the stagecoach for you. Oh. oh, this is good news, Millie. We're going to be rich. My last shipment of hides brought three dollars a piece in St. Louis. And half of everything I get is always yours. What are you talking over with her? Ain't I supposed to know what's going on? Where's Pruitt? Not back yet. From what I just heard down at the post, they didn't get Pilchuck. I told you it was a fool idea. If you're going to have the big outfit you're talking about, you'd better get smart. You'll be strung up before you get away from here if you ain't careful. But you're running things. Hmm. I'm glad you understand that. What's in that letter? Well, you needn't be so jealous of her. There's a place here for both of you. If you know your place. Yeah. Well, get somebody to fix that wheel. Well, what's the matter? You didn't get Pilchuck. The stage come along. That's no excuse. If you hadn't turned tail, you could have put Tom Doan out of the way at the same time. It'd be a lot easier for us this fall if Sprague didn't have those two head in his outfit. What happened to the wagon? I lost a rim off the wheel. Where? I don't know. Hurry and get that wheel off there and burn it up. Get another one on right away. Yes, sir. Uh, it's a wonder to me Jude Pilchuck ain't trailing right behind you. Come on, get rid of this Indian stuff. We're through with this kind of small business. You better get out the post and hire 10 or 12 regular hunters. We're going to have to hunt some buffalo of our own. Make the outfit look right. What's a pay? Uh, promise them anything. I don't know what Sprague's gonna say to you getting married and toting that young gal along. I'm against it. Of course, I'm against all women. How many times have you been married, Jude? Mm, five, counting Indians. I never had much luck getting a steady wife. Of course, that stepdaughter's a right nice gal, I guess. But I hate to see you get mixed up with that Jet outfit. You know, there's a doubt hanging on Jet. Used to be a horse thief. If I don't miss my guess, that whole outfit has took the hide stealing. The tires are off the wheel of one of his wagons. It ain't gonna be very hard to trace that war bonnet to him either. Well, I'll take up my suspicions of spring. I gotta get Millie away from that outfit as soon as I can. Yeah, I wish you could do it without getting hitched. Yeah, Prince. Look off your hand. Well, did you hear what happened? Yeah, I heard a couple engines run you off the road. A couple? Huh. They weren't no engines. Who's been spreading lies around here about me? They was hide thieves. Ask Tom here, he'll tell you. All I know is I found him in a ditch. I don't know how he got there. <sighs> then you better come on in and have a drink. You're trembling all over. <laughs> Billy wants to see you, Tom. Thanks, Bill. No 
Now, where's he hot footing it to? Can't wait to see that gal. Has he got it bad? Fixing to get hitched. And he says he's going to tote her along hide hunting. Maybe you can talk to him. I'll do more than talk to him. He ain't going to get mixed up with that thieving jet outfit. Well, something's got to be done. I've argued myself blue in the face. Now, don't ask me about the trip, or what I've been doing. Because only wives ask those questions. Tom! But you can start tomorrow. We're going to be married tonight. Mrs. Tom Doan is going buffalo hunting with her husband in the morning. <laughs> How are things back at the camp? Worse than ever. They're pulling out in the morning. I wasn't going with them. I couldn't. That's why I wanted to see you. I was going to ask you to marry me. Well, go on. Ask me. <laughs> Will you marry me? I'll be considering it, ma'am. Of course, I'll have to ask my pa and ma. I figure a sprague for pa, and for ma, I reckon we'll use Pilchuck. Do you think they'll consent? Mm, it's going to be a big shock to them. They'll probably disown you. I'll talk them into it. Can you slip away tonight, right after dark? I think so. They'll all be busy. But I'd better hurry back now and start packing before they miss me. When you hear the signal, watch your chance. I'll be waiting. Shut up, will you, Jude? How do you expect me to figure with you sitting there mumbling to yourself? Well, I was just trying to tie up some things in my mind. There weren't no rims missing on none of Jed's wagons, and not a sign of an engine feather. I went over there looking around, sort of a friendly visit, <laughs> as far as appearances went. Wasn't able to find out nothing. Hmm. Say, things are lively around here every day, ain't they? You ought to be making a barrel of money. I don't know why you want to go hide hunting. You're a better storekeeper. Always what? Somebody's got to go along to keep you from falling off cliffs. <laughs> now what are you looking for, engine feathers? But maybe I might have laid my chon back here. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, we got one thing settled. We ain't going to take no bride with us. If Tom marries that gal, You'll have to stay here and take care of these books. Oh, you're weakening, are you? For the last hour, you've been saying he couldn't get hitched. I said she couldn't go along with the outfit. Hmm. We can marry and leave her here. Well, that ain't going to save him. She'll be waiting for him to come back. It's our duty to save that boy from making a lifelong mistake. You've made five and wriggled out of them. You hadn't ought to begrudge him one. Oh, well. <laughs> Being in law ain't gonna hurt him. Ain't no harm in that. It's getting hitched where the trouble begins. Well, what would you do about it? Tell him he can't have the partnership if he's gonna lug that gal along with him. That'll fetch him to time. All right. You tell him. She hmm. probably don't know any more about keeping books than I do. Well, of course we promised it to him. Gonna make it kind of hard on me to face him. Oh, I thought if I waited long enough, you'd get chicken-hearted. I'll tell him. If he ain't to have the partnership, 
You heard me? Oh, now, Sprague, don't say that. You can't go back on the boy now. What's a few marriages between friends like us? If he marries that gal, the partnership is off. You won't keep your word, eh? Well, I've been noticing here of late, lost what little character he ever had. Listen, you will give that boy his just desserts, or you and I are going to split. Right here and now. I haven't changed my mind. I'm going to get married tonight. Then you will go with the outfit. It's all the same to me. Count me out right now. Looks like we'll have to give in, won't we? Well, if it's going to be a wedding, better shave. Keep an eye on her till we get out of ways. We're ready for that box, Mrs. Jett. Uh, how about it? Everybody ready? Yeah. Oh, we're ready. All right. Go ahead. Come on, Adam. Watch your way. I guess I won't be needing you, Parson. Too bad, Tom. Good luck to you. Thanks. Her back to the wagon now. Come on, let's eat with you.
Oh. Tom, what's happened to you? Sprague! Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? Tom's been shot. Hold him up while I examine him. Sorry, you got a nasty one. I guess it ain't so bad. He's a bad. Who shot you, Tom? Jed. I got to get her and bring her back. Got a bullet hole clean through your shoulder. Where's Jed now? Headed for the Red River. Give me some water and some clean rags. Clean out one of those wagons, put in some straw and some buffalo hides. It's the hand of Providence. Saved him from getting married before he's old enough to know better. You think he'll be able to travel? Yeah, he'll be all right. We've got to be moving today. Well, he can stand it. you some soup to, to build you up. How is he, Jude? Oh, he's doing fine. I'm afraid it looks like he's gonna live. <laughs> when I get on my feet again, I'm gonna quit this outfit. Say, to hear you take on this way, you'd think that Sprague and me have done you a dirty trick. Well, what would you call it? If you'd help uh, me... Ah, hey, hush, hush. You get that fever up again. A couple of weeks, you'll be up driving one of these wagons. Now, here, take this. No, I don't want it. Hey, uh, listen. I went out and got a couple of priority chickens and stewed them and made this broth, and you're going to eat it. Well, I tell you, I don't want it. The hell you don't. Come here. Hey, you're getting along fine, Tom. Ten days more, you'll be back in the saddle. I hope so. We'll be down in the lowlands about the end of the week. Still thinking about that gal, ain't you? Shut up, will you? No. Anybody that can't forget a gal in four weeks ought to be talked to. Tom! There's a freighter. Right over and ask him how far we are from the big herd. He'll pretty sore, ain't he? Oh, he'll have something else to think about as soon as we sight Buffalo. Hi there. Hello, stranger. What's your outfit? Sprague's. What do you know? Not much. We've been hunting stragglers. The main herd's over on the Red River. Everyone over there is making a big killing. You didn't happen to see anything of the jet outfit. Don't recall any such name. Uh, there would have been a good-looking girl with them. You know, dark brown eyes. And... I ain't seen a good-looking woman in five months. <laughs> Thanks. You didn't have Curly, right? Are we headed right? I don't know. Didn't ask him. Hey! Where are you going? Thought I might take a look over the rise and see if I can see any buffalo. Don't you worry, son. I'll let you know when buffalo around. I can smell them. Boone, you can certainly smell buffalo. <laughs> hey, Sprague, there's a good-sized string of buffalo over the rise. How big a herd? About 200. Here, take these rings.
What are you getting all excited about? 200 buffalo ain't worth stopping for. Well, as long as we can't depend on your smeller anymore, we might as well set up camp around here. Many of that last herd, Jude? Nah. I reckon we must have skinned out 5,000 hides the last two weeks. Bring me up some more steaks. All right, just a minute. Where's Frank and Tom? Frank and Buffalo over in the next valley. Yeah, we'll have the men peg out these hides before they start curling up. Well, I'm glad you lost your grouch, Tom. Can't hold on to it forever. Oh, you'll find that gal one of these days and marry her. She's the right one. Jude and I are sorry we didn't start out that night and fetch her back. But we didn't realize. Oh, we're just a couple of old fools. It's a hunting party. Look, they've sighted a herd. They'll only kill a few for meat. Say, those buffalo are heading toward our camp. Come on. Everybody out! A big herd of buffalo heading this way! Get your skinners together and come on. Can you smell them, Jude? They're heading straight for the supply wagons. Take this load clean into Twin Forks. Sprague wants to market as many as he can before the winter sets in. All right, Bob. Oh. And don't lose no time in getting back. Look out for news of the jet outfit, will you, Bob? Sure, I'll see if I can't find them for you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. All right, boys, hold it up here for a while. I want to take a look around. Got it. 
Hey, spot another load, and he's alone. Wagons. Yeah. Quiet with you the way. Good thing you let him go. Hmm. Maybe you'll have something new to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you'll get any high. No. Buffalo all left there early in the fall. You know you can't argue with Jude. He'll be blowing in either tomorrow or the next day. You know, we'll be in for it if he has any luck. <laughs> You'll be riding this all winter long. <laughs> been traveling, ain't you? Yeah. Why'd you step down and have some supper with us? <laughs> I was just going to suggest that myself. I got a whip of that deer meat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fred, get down and rest your legs. Have something to eat. You're right with you, boy. But say, Sprague, ain't you getting ready to haul steaks? Well, I know. We're waiting for Pilchuck to get back. Why? Indian trouble. Well, we got warned day before yesterday. Ain't anybody been up here? No. Well, the army's got riders out all over the territory. Everybody's got to move into Little Bear. Well, say, if it's that serious, I reckon we better follow you right in. Sit down. Tom will fix you up. Thanks. Hello, Smiley. Hi, Tom. Hello, Mr. Smiley. Why, Baldy, you old <laughs> son of a gun. You. How are you? Hey! What kind of a season did you have? We'll market about 15,000 hides. 15,000? 15, <laughs> Boy, you sure got me beat. But I'm not complaining. Why, say, Tom, some of those tenderfoot outfits will be lucky to get out alive. Say, Frank. Yeah. Pack up so we can leave at daybreak for Little Ben. 
Pilchuck is in Wilson Canyon. We'll pick him up there. Right. Where there's hunters, there's hides. Where there's hides, there's thieves. You know, Tom, some of the camp's been hit pretty hard this year. Any idea who's doing it? Randall Jett. That's what a fellow told me. Where's he been working? Oh, up along in the White Horse Creek. So they say, but I don't know. Say, don't you want to stay over with us tonight? I don't think so. Snowed pretty hard up there. It's going to be down the valley in there, too. Yeah, I've been watching it all afternoon. I'd like to be down a little bit before she falls. There's nothing Injun likes better than to catch a hide hunting outfit stalled in the snow. Well, would you mind for the supper? Oh, you're welcome. So long, Tom. Good luck to you. I guess there's no use talking to you. Why don't you take two or three of the boys with you? Well, I'd like to go along. You could bring the wagons in. No. I'm going alone. I understand. Good luck. This storm don't make it no easier for him. His share of the hide money ain't gonna mean much to him if you don't find that gal. Oh, shut up, Jude. You're wrong about the whole thing, Sprague. Of course, I feel some responsible for the way you separate them. It'll be kind of tough on the hide wagons getting the little band. But then we got one thing in our favor. This blizzard keeps up. Won't have no engine trouble. We better get out of here before Jet gets back. Ah, he won't be in before morning. We got time for a couple hours sleep. What are you doing with them hides? We're taking them. You're getting wages with this outfit. Wages? There wasn't anything said about wages. We're supposed to get half of the hides. You weren't to get half of anything. And you ain't leaving this camp with what doesn't belong to you. Unless you want to take her. No. I'm considering Jet's feelings. We're taking the hides.
You boys be ready to leave at daylight. Hmm. Outfits stuck in the snow all the way. They'll be easy to handle. Pick your own crew from the camp below. Mrs. Jett here will take charge of the second outfit with Truett and Catley. I'll stay here. Make this a permanent camp for the winter. All right, better get some sleep. Who's Millie going with? She stays here. And I'm going with Pruitt and Catley. Well, gotta have someone with them I can trust. They need watching. Not anymore. Uh, where are they? I killed them. And they were sneaking off with half the hides. You made a mess of things. I was protecting our property. But I needed Pruitt and Catley. And you don't need me. It'd be a lot better if you were in there with them. Oh, Millie! Oh, Millie! What have you done with her? Nothing. She's about her, ain't you? Where is she? Let her go! Let her go! You'll never have any other woman but me, Randall Jett.
That's our outfit. We've got to get a little bend. I'm all right. Let's hurry. Another outfit trapped the twin folks. They had to put up much of a fight. Well, they'll be wiped out unless we help them. Well, I will be on our way in five minutes. This whole wagon train will go. Hey, everybody! Gather around, everybody! Over here! Over here, everybody! Over here! Wagon train strap! Everybody get lined up for twin forks! The Siwars have got Sprague and Huggins' outfit. Circle in. They're gonna be wiped out unless we help them. Now we take all the wagons, and we'll give them a surprise party. Sure, we'll help them. Hey, Smiley. Here, can Millie ride with you? Sure, get right up, miss. Right over there. Take good care of her, will you? I will. Now, can you drive while I'm shooting out there? Sure. All right, let's go. Get up. Hey!
wasn't that just very enjoyable, wonderful, classic entertainment? And it's timeless. Westerns are timeless. Thank you for joining us here on Westerns on the Web. Make sure you check back with us often because we're going to have a lot more Western films for you to view here online for free. I'm Bob Terry. Have a great day, and we hope to see you again on Down the Trail.